Which painting do you think I did first? Why do you think I chose to redo the painting? And why might I redo it again? Stick around. I'm first showing you this photograph of the two finished pieces so you can make a comparison with good color because my studio lights and the videos are less than ideal. So which one did you guess that I did first? Bing, 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 bing. It is the vertical layout. It isn't that I hate this painting. I just think that it can be a lot better. I think some of the watercolor is too thick and uh, getting a little muddy. Now, of course, this lighting doesn't help. There are elements I like about it. I like the azalea bush and I like the icon, the statue in it. Also, I did this on unsized 140 pound paper cold press and there was some puddling that I wasn't crazy about. My uh, other one I did on 300 pound cold press. I still taped it down but I didn't have to worry about the puddling that this one did. So this is the one that I decided to do again and uh, I just like the the horizontal format better and I'm going to uh, really try to layer these transparent watercolors more thinly um, and not be quite so, so messy. Now, I love watercolor being messy in areas, uh, but I'm going to try to be um, more thoughtful with how I'm laying uh, paint down. Of course, this upper area is a lot of fun to, to paint in the background where everything can just kind of get splattered on there and all the paint just uh, moves together and you never know uh, quite what you're going to get in the background. Uh, with this particular one, I did not mask anything. I've uh, done that often in the past, but this one's going to be a little bit more uh, freeform in that way. Now, I, I actually wish I had masked some areas in the tree. So in the foreground, I'm laying down the cool shades of the, that gravel path but there is dappled sunlight coming on it. And that's one of my favorite uh, styles of photographs to take. When designing your painting, it's good to make sure that you have a balance of warm and cool. And um, I've really tried to do that effectively through this composition. There's plenty of shadows and cool tones, but there's also plenty of warmth. Now, of course, I sketched everything out. I used darker lines than I normally would, just so they'll show up on this video after it's compressed in, by YouTube. Um, I'm coming in and doing the basic shadows on this... Um, Asian temple sculpture and uh, I'll come back later and do some detail. So in this way watercolor um, is interesting. You kind of let one area dry while you go work on another area and you have to be kind of, st kind of uh, strategic about that. 
And one of my favorite uh, techniques is to lay down a puddle of darker paint and then uh, swab out some of that paint. Um, it leaves kind of a darker edge, uh, but lightens in between, lightens in there. Now in this case, when I did it, I did not work it enough. I wish I had lightened it more. And that's really one of the only major regrets of this painting. Um, on that sculptural tree back there, I wish I had worked each uh, kind of lobe of, of the tree to lighten up uh, the areas where the sunlight was hitting it and um, then darkened the areas in shadow. I think I could have done that a lot more effectively than I did. And in the end, ended up having to come back with some Chinese white um, mixed with pigment, but to lighten up some of the areas and to create more volume. And I would have preferred to just do it in the first place. Now here I'm coming in with a micron and adding some detail. I, did, I didn't plan on doing that in, well, initially, um, but I, I think that it did end up adding a lot to the painting. And that's why I'm saying if, if I do a third one, I'm going to strive to make the painting um, really balanced and with lights and darks uh, where I don't feel it necessary to uh, come back and do uh, the pen outlines. It's a cool technique, don't get me wrong. Now that one is a brush tip. And uh, the brush tip is going to add uh, a little thicker line. And I can do a thick thin for variation of line. So on that really dark tree trunk, um, you know, I got in there. And, you know, I'm playing around with this technique. I do like the look of it. I just want to do um, one that is pure, transparent watercolor and, uh, and really balance the, the lights and the darks. All in all, though, I'm really happy with this, and uh, I wish in this video that uh, the colors were better represented. Uh, like that yellow sky really has a, a lot more green in it. I've tried to mess around with that a little bit in um, Premiere Pro, and it's just... Um, you know, it ends up screwing a different area up. So, um, that's why I showed you the photograph in the beginning of the, the final pieces because I realized that uh, some of those colors are just kind of hard to, to tell what they are. I think my lighting is just too warm and I need to uh, probably just go with uh, total cool. You know, this is one of my early videos if you're new to watching me. So I'm still trying to work out, uh, you know, how to work with, with all my stuff. You know, all the lighting and, and everything for videos is new to me. So I'm doing it little by little. It's coming together. Now here's where I, I've mixed some Chinese white with pigment and I'm going in to 
um, kind of make that tree. You can see the photograph in the left corner. Um, I'm just trying to make uh, more volume show up in those uh, the branches. It's kind of a fluffy pine tree and it does have that bluish tint um, but I'm just you know trying to add the the highlights and then I'll add some darks underneath to further help that volume the sense of volume uh, in each lobe of that tree. Uh, just a few little touches on the bridge. That bridge in the background, uh, you may notice from the, the photo, the bridge is actually flat across. But I thought that the arched bridge was more in keeping with an Asian style bridge or the, the ones I've seen. So a little bit more stereotypical. Um, but I just thought it would make a... Um, it, you know, I just think thought it had a nicer look in the background instead of just the flat bridge. So here I'm going in and adding some of those darker colors again to, to pump up the volume. And... Uh, I can see that the color shifted to a to a cooler tone. I think I'd realized my mistake by that time, and I went and changed the uh, the lighting. Still isn't showing much of the green in the background. It is absolutely free. If you would like a chance to win this and many other original pieces of art, just go to my website, artsexpress.com, the link is below, and sign up on the lessons page, and that will put you in the drawing for free artwork and supplies, um, all kinds of stuff. Thank you. It is absolutely free for you to subscribe, so help out not only me, but all your favorite YouTube channels. Thank you.